Hello and welcome to Miss Ma's But Why series. This is the Castro. So I'm going to talk about why the trigonometric ratios are all positive in the first quadrant, sine is positive in the second quadrant, tan is positive in the third quadrant, and cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. It all stems from these definitions of sine, cos, and tan using y over r, x over r, and y over x. So we'll start by looking at the first quadrant and we know that this is theta 1. If I just make a triangle by dropping from the terminal arm to the initial arm and I say okay I'm going to make this length s and this height t then I know that this point has to be at st and I know I'm going to let this be r this radius or sorry this hypotenuse right here we're going to call it r so we know by Pythagorean theorem r squared is equal to s squared plus t squared and that's just one of the definitions that we're going to use. So if I'm doing sine, cos, and tan of that angle, sine theta 1 is equal to t over r, cos of theta 1 is equal to s over r, and tan of theta 1 is equal to uh, t over s. And these are all positive because s and t are positive, so we have to have positive values. Also, one more thing to note is that r is positive. It has to be positive because r is actually a distance, and distance is always positive. So that's okay, but if I look at this, if I wanted to do this angle right here, theta 2, and I'm going to say that I'm using exactly the same triangle, so this distance is going to be s, and this distance is going to be t, and this is going to be r, then I know that this triangle is congruent to this triangle, which means that the related acute angle must be theta 1 as well. And if I find this coordinate, it's actually negative st, because I'm going in the negative direction, and that gives us our x and our y, actually. So x is negative s and y is t. So again, using these definitions, now we're in quadrant 2. Uh, sine of theta 2 is equal to t over r, positive t over r. Cos of theta 2 is equal to negative s over r. And tan of theta 2 is equal to negative well, t over negative s, negative s of t over s. So you can see that because this s is negative in this quadrant, it actually affects only cos and tan, but not sine because it's not involved in t over r. So that is why sine is positive, but cos and tan are negative. Let's move on to quadrants 3 and 4. So again, I'm going to use this as my theta 1, and I'm going to use my triangle with my s and my t. If I make a congruent, a congruent triangle over here with my beta as theta 1, so my related acute angle is theta 1, then I still have that this length is s and this height is t, but as I go over in the third quadrant, I know that I'm going negative s, negative t, so that is the coordinate, and we'll call this the x and this the y. So if I use this if I'm doing the principal angle, which is starting at the initial arm and going to my terminal arm, let's call that theta 3, I can actually find the trig ratios using these x, y, and r. My r, of course, is from the origin to the point, so that's r. So for quadrant 3, we know that sine of theta 3 is equal to negative t over r, because again, I have a negative there. So cos of theta 3 is equal to negative s over r, and tan of theta 3 is equal to negative t over negative s, or in other words, positive t over s. So you can see that because both my s and my t are negative, it affects every single one of these ratios, except for that in tan, they cancel out and it becomes positive. So that's why tan is positive in quadrant 3, but the other two, sine and cos, are negative. And then we're going to do quadrant 4. So again, I'm using my theta 1 as my beta, as my related acute angle, and just dropping that perpendicular. This is going to be s, and this height is going to be t. So I get positive s, negative t as my coordinate there. And this length is going to be r. Then if I draw my, just trying to choose a good color here, sorry. If I draw my principal angle, again, starting at the initial arm and going in the positive direction, 
all the way to the terminal arm. I'm going to call that theta 4. I can find the sine, cos, and tan of that. So sine, oh, this is quadrant 4, sine theta 4 is equal to negative t over r. Cos of theta 4 is equal to s over r, because now s is the positive one, and tan of theta 4 is equal to negative t over s. So in this case, because the t is negative but not the s, only cosine is not affected, and so that's why we have cast c is positive here, all of them are positive because of s and t. Sine is positive here because of the negative s, and here t is positive because the negatives cancel, and t. So that's where cast comes from. Hope you enjoyed it. Ask me any questions you have in class, and see you soon.